This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. We can make use of Outlook's recurring appointment feature to help us remember important dates every year, such as birthdays, anniversaries, important events that occur on a regular basis. So if I wanted to remember, or be reminded in my case, about my mother's birthday, then I would move to the first occurrence of her birthday, which is the 1st of December. So I've used the calendar on the left to move through to the 1st of December. Because I'm in week view, I can see the whole week, and I can see that her birthday is on a Wednesday. On the Wednesday, if I then choose to double click, I activate the new appointment box. Her birthday is not a particular time of the day, so I'd use the all day event option and add a subject of mother's birthday. Now that would only put me in an appointment for this year. If I then use the recurrence feature and set the recurring pattern to be yearly, so every year, this will recur every year. You can actually say every two years, so it could be something that happens every other year, but birthdays are every year. On December the 1st, not on any other pattern like the third Thursday of December, it's on December the 1st. And when would I like it to stop? Well, never, no end date. So it will remember my mother's birthday, which is more than I do, every year on December the 1st. So that's okay. So we have a pattern here, recurrence occurs every December the 1st, effective from December the 1st, 2010. Of course, I would then not only need the appointment in there to help me remember, a reminder would be quite useful a few days before so that I can get a card, present, etc. Then I would set the reminder feature to three days. So three days before each of these occurrences, I will get a reminder from Outlook that my mother's birthday is imminent. Save and close. Because it's set as an all day event rather than a diary event, it appears at the top of the calendar. So it doesn't interact with any of the appointments I might have on that day. And I can see that it has a recurring pattern and a reminder. If I were to move all the way forward to next December, December 2011, there we have it. Mother's birthday, recurring pattern with a reminder. Three days before, one, two, three. On this Monday here, Outlook will remind me that it's my mother's birthday on Thursday. So you can make use of the recurring appointment feature in Outlook for birthdays, perhaps wedding anniversaries. Perhaps you're not very good at remembering those either. You find the first date that it will occur on, add the appointment in. So we could do, let's go backwards to 2010. Could do December the 5th, double click to add a new appointment. It's a whole day event. It's a recurring one that's going to recur annually on every year of December the 5th. No end date. Okay, and that's actually my wedding anniversary with a reminder, obviously, to go and get a present four days before. Save and close. And that becomes a recurring event that happens once a year. So that's the recurring pattern forever. So every year the Outlook moves around to that next year, that appointment will be in there for me. That event will be in there for me, really, because it's going to happen for that day with the reminder four days before. I have no excuses really now for forgetting anything.